hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busari moliayo and i'm a registered nurse on this channel i film content related to nursing and healthcare and in today's video i'm going to be talking about things you should never at any point in time or for any reason insert into your vagina if you are new here please click on the subscribe button to join the youtube family and also on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i drop another amazing video with that being said let's get right into today's topic Growing up as an African child, we don't really get to discuss things like um, vagina health or sexual education at home and it kind of feels um, weird in a way when you want to talk about this topic. So I won't actually be in a lot of ladies who might do things to their vagina because it might be out of ignorance. Even right now that I'm filming this, I still kind of feel some type of way discussing topics like this. But over time, because of my profession, I have more or less gotten used to discussing these topics. Do you get? So in today's video, just like I said, I'm going to be explaining why you should not put certain things into your vagina. And starting with the explanation of what the vagina is, uh, the vagina is a very, should I say, special organ okay and it has to remain at a particular ph which is about 4.5 so the vagina is slightly acidic and once the ph go uh, goes higher rather like when it becomes basic you are at risk of coming down with some infection because at that slightly acidic states it contains things known as normal flora that helps protect your vagina from infections and things are not good for it basically so when you start inserting certain, certain things into your vagina or you start using certain products on your vagina, you more or less reduce the ability of your VJ to protect itself from infection. So while you're trying to more or less do good, which that, that might be what you feel you're doing, you're causing more harm. So the number one on my list is petroleum jelly. On no account, should you put petroleum jelly into your vagina i'm serious and when i say petroleum jelly i'm talking about things that are popular popularly called vaseline now vaseline is the name of a company but most products that are made of petroleum jelly or most petroleum jelly products are popularly called vaseline because vaseline is like the pop most popular petroleum jelly brand now i'm not saying petroleum jelly in itself is a bad product i'm just saying that it is bad to insert petroleum jelly into your vagina because the petroleum jelly itself can cause irritation and you will not like it you get my point so petroleum jelly is the first thing on my list another thing is that you should not insert on clean fingers into your vagina yes uh, i don't know how best to put this but you know we touch uh, um everything like almost every and anything with our hands from home, home appliances kitchen utensils the things in public places we touch things with our hands a lot and you know once you keep touching a lot of things you are carrying a lot of bacteria a lot of microorganisms from the exterior world um from the environment basically or from the external environment that was what i wanted to say and bringing that into your vj is not so good because obviously i already said that the vagina itself contains normal flora and bringing in things that would more or less eradicate those normal flora will predispose you to infections so if you're if you're going to put your hand in there make sure you wash it properly before taking it in there make sure you trim your nails because your um your nail beds may be harboring some bacteria and deaths as well so make sure you trim your nails and clean your hands if you must put your hands or your fingers rather into your vagina another thing i am going to talk about is douching douching is something you should not do to your vagina now people do douching because they probably want to clean it and when i mean douching or douching whichever um pronunciation resonates with you i mean um flushing it um, water at high pressure into the vagina with the aim of cleaning it now one thing about douching is that it alters the ph of the vagina and it brings out the normal flora like it brings out the normal bacteria do you get my point and some of these douching um, should i say materials or appliances or equipments may be carrying bacteria from the external environment and so when you're pushing it in there you're introducing a lot of things and you're predisposing yourself to 
vaginal infections and vaginal infections can be very very troublesome to handle the next on my list are coconut oils now it may sound funny but i've had people telling me that they put coconut oil into their vagina as lubricants now they if you're if you have problems with let's say um releasing vaginal fluid or releasing fluid during sexual intercourse from your battling ground and everything there are medically approved lubricants to use even for women who are you know in their menopausal stage and they have issues getting wet there are actually medically approved lubricants that you can use you cannot use coconut oil as lubricants now coconut oil may be good for your hair or maybe for your skin i don't know maybe um but it is definitely not the right product to use as a lubricant for your vagina the last on my list are ice creams yogurts and chocolates yeah <laughs> okay i know it sounds funny as well just like coconut oil that i earlier mentioned but there are ladies who actually for one reason or the other insert ice cream or yogurts or chocolates either inside their vagina or on their vulva now the thing about this product is that they contain sugar for ice cream and chocolates they contain sugar and you know bacteria grow a lot when they have sugar around them so what you're automatically doing to your vagina is calling different microorganisms like more like you're giving them um, you're turning on the Bluetooth there for them to connect, come there, or to migrate there and colonize that area and cause infection. And another problem is that you guys keep doing it and you don't even clean up properly after doing that. One of these days I'm going to film a video on how to properly wash your vagina but till that time you guys can click here to see more of my videos on healthcare and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!